So the Birds of Prey official runtime has been revealed. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Strong on Flicks. I'm your boy T Flame, and today I want to talk to you about Birds of Prey. It's directed by Kathy Yan and stars one Harley Quinn, aka Margot Robbie. And this movie, I've been looking forward to seeing this movie for a long time, and I'm I gotta say I was a bit disappointed in the trailer when it appears that she has indeed killed Jared Leto's Joker off. Now that doesn't mean necessarily until we see the movie that he's actually going to stay dead. Um, I'm wondering if they're even going to give him, show him in the movie as a cameo to even kill him off. Is it, you know, at the very least, if they're going to kill him off, they need to at least show the man blow the hell up. I mean, cause if not, then I'm not buying it. I mean, I'm just not buying that he's, you know, that he's dead. Birds of Prey's budget is reportedly around a hundred million dollars and it's estimated that opening weekend it's going to make about 45 to 50 million birds of prey drops in roughly two weeks from now on february 7th so let's stay tuned and see what happens with that so the official runtime has been revealed and i guess the movie runtime is running an hour and 40 minutes that's roughly i want to say an hour and a half basically because you got to understand that the end credits and the intro with the logos and everything that's going to take up at least at least 10 minutes so basically the movie's running at about an hour and a half roughly and it's also reportedly the shortest dc movie to date i've seen a little bit of pandemonium on the internet about it and uh people like you know thinking that the movie's in tr talking about is the movie in trouble is the movie in trouble you know and people freaking out and honestly i don't know you know that is a good question i mean <laughs> you know that warner brothers they loved the you know in the past they had a big problem with that two hour or less mandate that they uh they put on Zack snyder that they put on david ayer and we already know how all that shit turned out and it wasn't for the better so i'm not i'm not sure i mean honestly do you guys think that the movie's in trouble uh let me know in the comment section down below um me personally until I see it, I don't think that the movie's in any trouble at all. And the only reason why I believe that the movie is going to be just fine, it's going to be however they intended it to be, for better or worse. However, uh, Kathy Ann and Margot Robbie intended it to be is how the movie's going to be. And, you know, for better or worse. And, and because they let, they let, especially Margot Robbie, they let them have full creative control over the project warner brothers had full confidence in uh, margot robbie from the get-go let her pick out basically what she wanted the script to be what you know what she wanted the movie to be rated and all kinds of shit so i think the movie's going to be just fine whatever story they're trying to tell obviously it doesn't need that much time i think the movie will have as much time as it needs to tell the story that it's trying to tell so basically no my my personal opinion is i don't think the movie is in any trouble and i'm looking forward to seeing it, it looks a little wacky it looks a little zany um it's got a little uh, bit of the suicide squad vibe and uh, i don't know we'll see as far as i'm concerned i think the movie's in in good hands and i think that the movie will be just fine i don't think there will be any issue now when we get in there when it releases february 7th 2020 we get in the theater and it's fucked up you know hey <laughs> but until then i think it's doing just fine guys so don't pass it up um i'm gonna be going to, to see birds of prey just because i'm hoping for one i'm curious i'm not gonna lie i'm curious i'm a fan of harley quinn and the joker and i'm curious to see the movie regardless but i'm also more curious to see are they gonna attach the trailer that we've all been waiting for onto this movie you never know and to my friend Colin Young, keep your head high and stay optimistic, my friend. I have faith that a trailer will be dropping soon, and this movie will be coming out here in a couple of months. And if not, I'll be right there with you, bud. Fuck them. That's the video. I'm your boy T-Flame. If you like what you see, like what you hear, please smash that subscribe button and ring that bell. I appreciate each and every one of you. Till next time, my friends.